Here's a shocking article from KCET.org. Fracking waste is being dumped into the ocean off California's coast. If that's a shock to anyone after the uh, Yosemite dump of fracking during the fires, you know, in the middle of the fires, uh, this big fire we had in Yosemite earlier last year, they caught uh, a fracking company dumping their fracking chemicals, their wastewater, into Hetch Hetchy, which is uh, the big dam they've created there that they're going to be reverting back into just a river. Uh, so, I digress. Frackers, they they enjoy dumping their waste <laughs> in public places. So, it's no laughing matter, really, though. So, this article states, uh, Rewire, which is this same uh, section on this news site, has reported previously on a form of oil well enhancement in California that doesn't get much attention from the press, namely offshore fracking. At least 12 rigs off the coast of California inject proprietary mixes of potentially dangerous chemicals into undersea rock formations at high pressure. They do this in order to break those rocks up, which makes it easier to pump out the crude. That's the process commonly known as fracking, short for hydraulic fracturing. The fluid pumped into the wells usually gets pumped back out again as wastewater. And if you suddenly have an uneasy feeling about where those offshore rigs dispose of the wastewater, you may well be correct. About half the state's offshore rigs pump at least some of their wastewater right into the Santa Barbara Channel. According to the Center for Biological Diversity, oil rig operators have federal permits to dump more than 9 billion gallons of fracking wastewater into California's ocean waters each year. That's enough wastewater to fill more than 100 stadiums the size of the Rose Bowl brimful of toxic waste. And CBD wants the Environmental Protection Agency to do something about it. Interesting how the federal government can permit them to dump something that's not really, I guess, in their zone of property. I guess it is, if it's within 100 miles from the coast. Uh, moving on. In a legal petition filed Wednesday, CBD is urging the EPA to rewrite those federal wastewater dumping permits to keep fracking waste out of the ocean and to develop national guidelines for offshore rig wa wastewater disposal that address the threat from fracking chemicals. Quote, It's disgusting that oil companies dump wastewater into California's oceans, said Miyoko Sakashita, CBD Oceans Director, in a press release. You can see the rigs from shore, but the contaminated waters are hidden from view. Our goal is to make sure toxic fracking chemicals don't poison wildlife or end up in the food chain. Fracking wastewater contains more than just the chemicals used by oil and gas companies to break up the rocks, including toxic substances like methanol, benzene, naphthylene, and trimethylbenzene. It can also include nasties that it picks up from those deep rock formations including lead and arsenic. And, while safely disposing of such substances isn't easy in the best of situations, ocean disposal poses special risk for those who play in, live near, or eat fish from the sea. Not to mention the risk to the California coast beleaguered wildlife, an issue that's prompted staff with the California Coastal Commission to urge an end to fracking wastewater dumping. Quote, it came as a complete surprise to learn that oil companies are fracking in waters off the coast where I let my kids swim and play, said Sakashita. The toxic chemicals used for offshore fracking don't belong in the ocean, and the best way to protect our coast is to ban fracking altogether. Well, I would agree with you, Sakashita. Definitely. Uh, viewers at home, do you agree with him? What are your thoughts on fracking, the benefits, the pros, the cons? Um, let me know in the comments section where we can start a discussion between the other viewers. And uh, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, if, you, if you aren't getting the kind of content you want, let me know what you're looking for and I'll see if I can provide that for you. Once again, this is Due Diligence providing just that. Have a good one.